and I had to I had to sell uh, water in the streets of uh, traffic of Lagos State just to survive. Footballers are famous and popular, but what people don't know is the path they took before they attained that statue. These paths are not always easy. So today, let's look at 15 Nigerian footballers who started from the streets before getting fame. Starting our list at number 15, we have Samuel Chukweze, the talented winger who currently dazzles for Italian side AC Milan. Samuel had quite a humble beginning. Born in Umaya Abia State in Southeast Nigeria, Chukweze's love for football began on the dusty street of his hometown. It wasn't always easy. His family struggled financially, but that didn't stop him from chasing his dreams. His break came when he joined the Diamond Football Academy. From there, his talent shone through, especially during the Under-17 World Cup tournament, and he caught the eyes of scouts. In 2017, he left his education and moved to Spain to join Villarreal's youth setup. By 2018, he was making waves in La Liga, and the rest is history. He later moved to Italy to mark another chapter of his career. He's one of Nigeria's brightest stars known for his speed and skill on the ball. Next up at number 14, we have Victor Moses and his story is one of resilience. Born in Lagos, his early life was made by tragedy when his parents were killed in religious riots. At the tender age of 11, he moved to the UK as an asylum seeker. It was a tough start adjusting to a new country and dealing with his loss. But football was his escape. He began playing for Crystal Palace Academy and quickly made a name for himself. His talent was undeniable and he moved on to the bigger clubs, eventually playing for Chelsea and even winning the Premier League as one of the club's important players. Moses' journey from the streets of Lagos to the bright lights of Stafford Bridge is nothing short of remarkable. Next up at number 13, we have Wilfred in Didi. Wilfred in Didi's journey to stardom is an example of how these superstars had to work hard to get to the top. Growing up in the bustling city of Lagos, in Didi's family had little money. He often had to balance school with helping his family to make ends meet. Despite this challenge, Changes, his love for football never wavered. His big break came when he joined Nat Boys Academy. His impressive performances earned him a move to Genk in Belgium and later to Leicester in the Premier League. Known for his defensive talent and all round midfield game, Ndidi is now a key player for both club and country. Next up, we have Ndidi's teammate as Leicester City senior man Kels or Kelechi Inacho. Kelechi Inacho started his journey in Imo State. His family wasn't well off and young Kelechi often played barefoot on rough pitches. His talent was evident early on and he joined Thai Academy in the southeastern states. His performances at the 2013 FIFA Under-17 World Cup where he won the golden ball put him on the global map. This led to a move to Manchester City where he showed glimpses of his potential. Though his time at City was mixed, his move to Leicester City has seen him flourish, particularly in the FA Cup. I, I can't. This guy, this guy, you see this guy? Next up at 11, we have Brown Ideye. Most of you will remember him as a regular for the Super Eagles, especially during the late Stephen Curry's era. Brown Ideye's part of football began in Yenogwa, Bayosa State, in the south south region of Nigeria. Growing up in a family with limited means, Ideye had to navigate the challenges of poverty. He was born in Ajegule, one of the biggest slums or ghetto areas in Lagos, so you could guess how difficult it was for him and his family. He started playing in local clubs before moving to Ocean Boys, where he made a significant impact, including winning the Nigerian Premier League. His talent earned him a move to Europe, playing for clubs in Switzerland, France, and eventually the Premier League with West Brom Albion. Ideal's story is one of perseverance, showing that no matter where you start, with hard work, you can achieve great things. If you had told him when he was still playing street football that he will succeed in the biggest stage, he might just have laughed it off. At number 10, we have former Eagles captain. Ahmed Musa. Ahmed Musa's rise from the streets of Jaws to international stardom is truly inspiring. Born into a large family, Musa had to work hard to support his household, something he held on to as he progressed in life. His talent on the pitch was undeniable and he joined the Aminchi Football Academy. From there, he moved to Kanu Pillars where his performance caught the eye of scouts. His journey took him to Europe where he played for CSK Moscow and later Leicester City. Known for his blistering pace, Musa has become a national hero, particularly after his performance in the World Cup. After he became rich and famous, Ahmed Musa has always found ways to give back to the society through various philanthropic works. All those people that are asking Musa to retire when Musa was doing good, where are they? So definitely we know our country, no matter what, whoever they call, they have to talk. But I don't have to listen to anyone. 
I'm the one doing my job. If my body want me to stop, I stop. Number nine, we have Frank Onyeka. Frank, like most hustlers, began in the streets of Lagos. Growing up in a tough neighborhood, football was his escape. He joined FC Igbedie, a club known for nurturing young talent. His performances there earned him a move to FC Midtjylland in Denmark. Interestingly, he was one of two players picked to go to Denmark for trials. Onyeka's hard work paid off as he became a key player for the Danish club, helping them to win the league. His impressive displays earned him a move to Brentford in the Premier League and eventually a place in the Super Ego squad. Onyeka's story is one of rising above adversity to achieve greatness. I was born and brought up in Benin. Wow. Then uh, I, I started from an academy, the Flamingo Football Academy. Right. So I started Flamingo Football Academy. Then afterwards, I went to Faith Motors. This is uh, public transport. So, yeah. Yeah. so after uh, Faith Motors, then FC Ready. Right. Then on so I go. Yeah. You know. But it's not the easy, honestly. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I get people who say the time, say, guys, stop football, nothing, they, you don't go get anything. Mm. But still, I don't give up. <laughs> I said, trek, trek, trek <laughs> like 40 minutes. Trek, long. trek like 40 minutes. Sometimes, you know, say, you don't go want me people see, say, the trek. Yeah. Right? Because you don't want to follow Express. <laughs> you don't want to follow Coral. So, like, people <laughs> don't go see, say, maybe your friend now, nah, if see you for a side bus, like, go see, say, ah, I want this guy, the trek. Where in the yeah. trek that they go? Tomorrow for screen, you say, I want to see, the trek. Oh. All those kinds of will just follow Coral. Go training the same thing, so that's what I do every day. Next up, we have Odion Igalo. This is a classic rags to riches tale. Born in Lagos, he grew up in Ajegule, and as we said earlier, it was one of the city's most impoverished neighborhoods. Despite the harsh conditions, Igalo's love for football shone through. He played for a local club before getting his break with Prime FC. From there, he moved to Line Oslo in Norway, and his journey took him to Italy, Spain, and eventually England with Watford. He played in Germany, where he was fully developed. Before going back to England to play for Manchester United, Igalo's dedication and hard work saw him achieve his dream of playing for Manchester United, a club he supported as a child. After that, he went to Saudi Arabia to earn more cash to his career. Next up, we have John Utaka, whose journey started in Enugu, southeastern Nigeria. Growing up in a modest family, Utaka had to overcome many obstacles, including struggling to go for various trials. He began his career with Enugu Rangers before moving to Egypt to play for. For Ismaili. His talent soon saw him move to Europe where he played in France and England including a stint at Portmont where he won the FA Cup. Taka's career is a testament of his hard work and dedication making him one of Nigeria's celebrated footballers. At number 6, we have Oba Goal or Obafemi Martins. As a striker, he was well known for his blistering pace and started his football journey in Lagos. Coming from a humble background, Martins had to endure the hard street life if he was ever going to make it as a professional footballer. Martins played in local teams before moving to Italy to join Regania. His career took off from there with notable spells at Inter Milan, Newcastle United, Seto Sounders in MLS. Now he doesn't have to worry about being poor or the street life as he lives in the luxurious neighborhood in Lagos and in one of the biggest houses. At number 5, we have the infamous Taribo West. He was famous for his colorful hairstyle but he had a tough start in life. Born in Portacourt, he faced many challenges growing up. His talent was the discovered while playing in local clubs leading to a move to Julius Berger. From there, he moved to Europe playing for Oxa in France and later Inter Milan. West Carrera is a story of overcoming adversity and making a name for himself on the global stage. But interestingly, he went broke despite making money while playing. He had to return to Nigeria and guess what he did? He opened a church. Yes. So even not for football, what would my life become? I would have ended up one of the end. You know, if not an arm robber, I would end up one of the bad boys in town, one of the militants that will be ranging the nation or even the Niger Delta because I grew up in that compound and in that association. At number four, we have the current African player of the year. Victor Osimhen's rise to fame is nothing short of inspirational. Born in Lagos, Osimhen's family struggled financially and he often sold water on the street to make ends meet and in case you don't know, it involves chasing moving traffic to sell the goods. Victor always wanted to play football. His talent was evident from a young age and he joined the Ultimate Strikers Academy. His performance at the 2015 Under-17 World Cup where he won the Golden Boots earned him a 
move to Europe. He moved between Germany, Belgium, and France before settling down at Italy, where he really made a name for himself. Osimhen has become one of the most sought-after strikers in the world and has accomplished a lot with Napoli, including winning the Italian league. I was born and brought up in Lagos. I, I grew up in a place called uh, Olicious in the area of Lagos State. And where I grew up, my, my humble beginning was really, was really tough for me. I lost my mom when I was a very young, young boy. And after my mom died, uh, three months later, I lost my father. My father lost his job. And things were really hard for, for me and my, and my elder sisters and brothers. And I had to, I had to sell uh, water in the streets of uh, traffic of Lagos State just to survive, me and my, me and my elders. It was really tough and also where I came from uh, is a place that is not promised, nothing is uh, promised there. No one will tell you they believe in you and I, I have to do all these things because I feel that football is the only, is the only hope I and my family have to, to survive, to live the better life we, we are living now. And of course, uh, where I grew up also is a place <laughs> there is, uh, when you ask people that where, where, where do I come from, they would say, uh, in the family of Victor, I don't think anything good can, can come out of that family, but I, I thank God for where I am today. At number three, we have Finidi George. George's journey began in Port Harcourt. Growing up in a modest family, Finidi's love for football was clear from an early age. He played for street clubs like most of us before getting his break with Sharks FC. His talent ended in a move to Ajax where he won the Champions League. Finidi's career took him to Spain and England, making him one of Nigerian's football legends. After retiring, he took a job in coaching and has coached even the Nigerian national team. At number two, we have JJ Okocha, a man who needs no introduction. Production. During his playing days, JJ was known for his dazzling skills and started his journey in Enugu. Growing up in a large family, Okusha faced many challenges. He played for local clubs before taking a huge risk by moving to Germany to join Borussia Nukachin. He didn't know what to expect and if he didn't succeed, he might just find his way back to Nigeria. But that didn't happen as not only did JJ succeed, he became one of the finest footballers out there. His career took him to Turkey, France and England where he became a fan favorite at Botting Wanderers. Okocha's skills and flair made him a global icon and his journey from the street of Enugu to the world stage is truly remarkable. Finally, we come to Kanu Wankwo, one of Nigeria's most celebrated footballers. Born in Oweri, Kanu's family struggled financially even to enroll him to a Go Academy. But Kanu had the talent and he was always going to shine. He began his career with Federation Works before moving to Uwanyawu National. His talent was undeniable and he moved to Europe to join Ajax where he won the Champions League. Kanu's career took him to Italy, England and beyond, winning numerous titles along the way. At Arsenal, he was a key member of the Invincibles of 2004 and is remembered as the top players of the club's history. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly click on the subscribe button and like and click on the end screen on your left to watch the 10 footballers that went from billionaires to broke.